Hey, welcome to our cool channel. We are M3 Movies on YouTube. We talk about movies and films and stuff. Hello! Hi. Welcome to M3 Movies. I'm Jack. I'm Brian. Um, yeah, we're here. Uh, one of us is queer. It's not me. Yeah, sorry, guys. Um, we're back with the podcast. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah. Brian, do you want to sit forward, maybe? This is the exact problem we had with Aiden last week. We were supposed to put out a podcast last week. Um... Just sort of explaining what happened. We were supposed to put out a podcast, um, <clears throat> and this microphone that we're using right now doesn't sound great, so we were trying out the new one that we got, uh, just sort of to test it out, and we found out that it doesn't pick up low frequencies when they're sitting far away from the microphone, so every single thing that Aiden said uh, wasn't heard. So it was bad, so we couldn't put it out. So that's why there was no podcast. So this week. instead, we did M three Buddies, <clears throat> or I did M three Buddies. Yeah, you did M three Buddies, which nobody watched. Well, you have to promote it, Bry. You sexy beast. You gotta get it out there. Fam. Hey, you know the people that watched our trailer could have watched it. The I see 000, all you. Uh, uh, how many people is it now? Do you it think it's like gone 1800. up? Eighteen hundred. Why did I go to my? Okay, sorry. Can we eighteen hundred just... people watched a trailer? Yeah, for the, our... the trailer that I put out there. Uh, a couple weeks back. But we got, like... I think I've seen, like, two new subscribers. 1.8K. Yeah. I've seen, like, two new subscribers in the past few. Which is pretty good. <laughs> hey, you know, we'll take all we can get. We appreciate you guys coming on. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, So this is the first podcast of M3 Movies. Or the first original one, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. Um, that's going to be on multiple platforms. Um, we have our whole collection out right now. Is it all of them? Do we ever finish it? Uh, no. We still have a couple. Alright, so it's we'll almost all of them. Done. We can do those today. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but this will be the first one that will be released on YouTube and all of the other platforms at the same time. Uh, so you guys are getting a special treat, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> um, but if you are listening on YouTube right now and would like to know where you can find us elsewhere, go to anchor.fm slash m3movies. I supported it earlier in the episode. I did or the in description. The beginning. Uh, yeah, I'll be linking all of our other places in the description below. Uh, but we're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Google Podcasts, we're on Spotify, we're on Stitcher, we're on Breaker, we're on Radio Public, and I believe... There are two more. Um, so if you want to go to anchor.fm slash m3movies to check us out and find out where else we are, please do that. That'd be pretty cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so let's just uh, go ahead and get started. Let's move on to this next segment, which I'll explain. Um, I, I saw the new title. Yeah. I'll, I'll explain when we get there. Let's just go jingle now. Go jingle. We like the work of these certain celebrities, and so we're going to appreciate them and what they've done. Good jingle. Um, so, we have a, a title-ish that we want to test out. So, uh, previously known as Jack and Brian <laughs> sit around and talk about celebrities or something? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's now... It was good. For now, it's going to be called Are He Mateys? Uh, Do you have a jingle plan for our Gee No, Mates? it's going to be the exact same as it has been, because I don't feel like oh. doing extra I feel like our Gee Mates has like a pirate like, theme Argy to it, though. Mates. Well, the other one didn't actually say anything. It was just... No, but can it know. just be like you like in the microphone just go, our Gee <laughs> I'll Yeah, I'll do that right now. And I'll... Um, yeah, you can make that... The Argy, Argy Mates. Yeah, so what you just heard in the <laughs> podcast, you also heard a few seconds the ago jingle. during the jingle. And I'll definitely remember to do that. Yeah, you will. When I'm editing. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so this title was suggested to us by a friend of ours who has been on the podcast, Dylan Clark. Of um, course it was Dylan. I should yeah. have guessed it was yeah. Dylan. Are ye maybe's? God. <laughs> it's I the most have... absurd thing I've ever heard, but I thought this I'd test his, it out. This is his it was... uh, one, like, little addition <laughs> that he can make for being our it's one and only fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, his, his explanation was, um, 
it's derived from C talk, the letter C talk, um, like celebrity talk. That uh, is a stretch. Which then goes into C, S-E-A talk. And then so, are, are ye mateys, because yeah. we're talking about mateys. He may have been drunk or high when he told me that idea, or just No, he's Dylan. just himself. <laughs> um, Dylan's got to come back. <clears throat> yeah, he, he should. Um, anyway, we uh, last week put out a poll, so we didn't do it this week, because also we're recording on a Tuesday today. Um, so last week the poll was... Uh, Spike Lee, Jordan Peele, but we never really got to talk about it because it's gone. So we'll just do it now. Uh, and the uh, uh, Jordan Peele. Oh my God, Jordan Hooray. Peele! Who's surprised? I am not. No, me neither. Cool. Do I sound tired? I'm not particularly tired right now. I know. Now. I don't feel tired either. But it's but... like I don't know. Mm, maybe yeah, we're just I... dead. Oh yeah, we're in hell. I mean, don't do that far. All right. Whatever. It's a chill episode. Enjoy this chill episode. While well, it lasts. Yeah. Um, Peel. What's he done? Pretty Key much nothing. Peel. Right? Yeah. Uh. I mean, I feel like the hype around Jordan Peele is yet to come. I mean, like, he won the Oscar for Get Out, which yeah. was crazy, right? Because he released that movie in February, and then people were talking about it all year. Yeah. And then he won original screenplay at the Oscars, which is like very nice. Wow, his, good for him. His acceptance speech was cool to me. I don't remember it at all. It. I mean, it really wasn't anything except that he had said at one point that like he stopped or I don't know. I guess stopped is the right word. Stopped writing it like a bunch of different times, but just kept going. I don't know. It was cool to me. Yeah, that sounds like something that's cool to us. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can. You keep speaking. No, but... So that's cool, but I feel like it's really just about where he goes with that, you know? Like, it's... His Twilight Zone is happening, and... Uh, and us. I'm us really is, excited for Us. Us looks great. Looks that's great. soon, right? Next yeah. month, I think. Yeah, God. Uh, that's, so, a, that's pretty quick. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, it's two years. Is it? When did it get out? Get out came out February 2017. Oh, God, that was two years ago. Yeah, it was two years ago. Jeez. Wow. All right. Cool. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> this means so much to me, Peel continued. I stopped writing this movie about 20 times because I thought it wasn't possible. I thought it wasn't going to work. I thought no one would ever make this movie, but I kept coming back to it because I knew if someone let me make this movie that people would hear it and people would see it. So I want to dedicate this to all the people who raised my voice and let me make this movie. Also, sorry about that sound. Someone just got home. Well, I say it was a cool clip. That was a cool thing to me. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I mean, definitely inspiring the uh-huh. youth. The them's. Wow, I mean, that's a lot of sound. Key and Peele also exists. You watch Key and Peele? Do you like Key and Peele? Yeah, Peel? of course. I love I Key and Peele. He's you, such a funny person. To, what are you bringing up though? I'm not trying to bring up anything controversial. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like that's like what he was for so long, and now he's like this. Oh yeah, that I mean, horror his turn crazy. He went from Keanu straight to us. Yeah, no, it's a hard it left. Out. Yeah, hard left. Did you ever see Keanu? I did not see Keanu. Aiden did. Apparently, I he wanted to. Kind of liked it. I think. Yeah, I've heard it's okay. I have... Who voices the cat? Isn't it? I think it's Keanu Reeves. It is Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Who voices? That's a different movie that Kevin Spacey voices the cat. Um, that's nine lives. That's the like. That's the that's oh. That's the lives. really really awful one. That was really really awful. Nine lives. Nine. Li- I do not think it's called nine lives. I'm pretty sure it's called nine lives. Nine lives. <laughs> movie. Stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's called nine lives. Fourteen percent Rotten Tomatoes, and eleven yeah, percent on Metacritic. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um. We should watch this movie. We should do a a watch of a Nine Lives. Commentary of Nine Lives. <laughs> There's a. I think I might shoot myself. Wow. All right, that sounds cool. terrible. Where have I seen her before? A series of unfortunate events. Oh. Oh. Her. Yes. Okay. I'm just cool. Kidding. I'm assuming I wouldn't like that show, but I haven't watched it, so. I liked it. I still <clears> have <throat> to see the um, last seasons? Question mark. I do not know how many seasons there are. Hello. I think it's like three or four. That's my pug. Hope you guys are enjoying all of the just kind of sounds, sounds that are happening right now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, so yeah, Jordan Peele. Pretty cool dude. He's a cool dude. Um, 
getting on up there in the world. Hope he succeeds. He could win an Oscar this year. Yeah. For us? No. Or... For, he produced Black Cats, but didn't he? Oh, he did. He was a producer on that. I'm pretty sure he's one of the people that would win if Black Pants would win the Oscar. Yeah. I think so. Well, if it wins Best Picture. If it wins Best Picture. Yeah. I think Which, he'd get one. Do you think Black Klansman will win Best Picture? I don't think it will, yeah. but I think it is certainly in the running. Sure. I think it's like top... Well, it's I think nominated. It's, I think it's top four most likely. Definitely nominated, so really in the running there. <laughs> I think it's like... Okay, so it's like Roma is like top dog, and then... Woof. Green Book, probably, which is unfortunate, but then The Favorite is, like, Sleeper Sleeper, and then Black Klansman is, like, right there. Did you say Sleeper Sleeper? Yeah, it's like, it could come out of nowhere and win, but it probably won't. Oh, right. A Sleeper pick? Was, was, but was it's, like, Star Super Sleeper, nominated? so I said Sleeper Sleeper. Did you say that? Yeah, Star is Born is nominated, okay, cool. but it's not gonna win, because for some I reason, so. award movies don't, award shows don't like it. What do you think is gonna win? Roma. Oh, Ruby said that. I did say that. Sorry. I, I do want you to know I zoned out for a second. <laughs> no, but Black Klansman is the only movie of the eight nominees to have, like, the four, like, best picture winner rules. It's like, yeah, it has it an editing nomination. Right. It, wa- it had an ensemble nomination at the SAG Awards. Right. It uh, has a directing nomination and it has a screenplay nomination. Those are, like, Fingers the four crossed. rules. I, d- I doubt it. Of, I haven't heard uh, none of the other of... None of the other seven have those four. Right. They're all missing at least one of them. Right. Mostly because Black Panther somehow got into ensemble <sighs> at the SAG Awards. And then won. It got into Wait, didn't they win? I, I think they won, I too. That's what absurd. Makes, what makes you think I pay attention to anything in movies? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know, Jack. Why would I think that you're a movie fan? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Suspicious. Um, All right. Yeah, let's move on. We talked about Jordan Peele for a good. Uh... Oh, okay. Like, that was longer than I thought. Actually, eight or nine minutes. Yeah, cool. He wasn't really, really talking about Jordan Peele. <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah, we okay. had to discuss Argy Mateys. Well, too. the point is tangents. So. Yeah, we we really don't have a whole much, a whole many much bunch this year. Week. This year. God, I'm. Struggling. <laughs> new releases. Yeah, let's go new releases. Go jingle. Go now. Uh, in two seconds. Go. New releases. New releases. New releases. They're out today. Or tomorrow. Or next week. Or maybe they're already out. Who's to say? New oh my God, we did it. <clears throat> let's start with the second one first. Yeah, because I want to talk. Because I saw the first one. Oh, yeah. And I want to talk about it later. Fighting with my family. Fighting with my family. Have you seen anything about this? It's This is the one with the British people who like want to yeah. be wrestlers and then The Rock is in it, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I've seen the trailers. It's getting like shockingly good reviews, actually. You know, I didn't much... think it looked bad. I thought it looked like cheesy, but... Fighting... I thought it just kind of looked run-of-the-mill pretty plain. What's that? Uh, 93 on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't have a Metacritic score, apparently. I'm sure it does. So just, I don't know why they still have, like, Google results still has Me- Roger Ebert over, like, Metacritic. Yeah. Even though Roger Ebert is, you know. Is what? Passed on. 70. 70 on, on Metacritic. Metacritic. That's not bad. That's pretty good. It's Metacritic. Um, I mean, I have not seen, like, any movies this year, so maybe I'll go see this. Yeah, you haven't. I haven't either. Have you seen even sister? Dearest sister. You're on the podcast, Maddie. What? I am? That was my sister. No, but... um, (laughs) Yeah, I've seen one 2019 release. What's that? How to Train Your Dragon 3. Oh. You know how much I like How to Train Your Dragon. Have I seen any 2019 releases? Probably not. No. What's coming out this year? Guaranteed, no. If I've only seen one, you've seen zero. No, you're stupid. I've probably seen something. When was the last time you went to the movies? <laughs> That's true. You're absolutely right there. You got me. You got me. I need to watch Velvet Buzzsaw. That's like the movie I haven't watched yet that I was really excited yeah, for. Yeah, I've heard way things about it. Not great, not bad. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Um, blah, 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 yeah. You know all them thing, all them things that I'm talking about. Did you see a dog's way home, Jack? You know I did. No, you didn't. You know I did. 
Uh, I saw the trailer. Did you see Glass? So familiar, I missed but Glass. But I also haven't seen Unbreakable, so I can't really watch Glass yet. Yeah, okay, cool. I haven't seen anything. Yeah. Anything that came out. I've seen a single movie, so and it's not even out yet. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, that's fun. Good for me. And you. And everyone. We should start seeing more movies for this movie podcast that we do. Anyway. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon. How to... I, I've seen it, so I'll talk about it later. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Yeah, you it should be. It looks really great. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, you should be. Um, it is. Well, this is no fun, Brian. I want to be able to talk about it with you, but, but you're going to wait. But I haven't seen any movies either, so I need something to <laughs> talk about in movies watch. I saw, okay. We have another segment for this. Well, but I saw two, technically, that I could talk about. See, then you have material there. Ah, uh, you bastard. So, you're a bastard boy. I need to save this. This is my material, friend. Uh, well, I don't know what the thing to is, I saw this say like about it. Two weeks it. ago, too. I just um, have not watched anything. I mean, I guess I could say that I definitely have the ending spoiled by a TV spot. So you at home, if you want, I wanna... tried to find that TV spot and could not find it. Well, maybe you're stupid. Because I was like, I want to know like what they actually like show. It's the uh, beep sensor sound effect. Um, so I don't spoil it. Ha! <laughs> I'm not gonna put the effort in. I don't want to. <laughs> Um, Don't spoil it. TV. It's not out, you know? I was just going to put in TV spot. Um, how to train your... I'm trying to type with one content. hand. <laughs> uh, Light Fury meets Toothless TV spot. Maybe? Oh, shh. It's definitely not that one. Are you sure? I mean, no, but it wouldn't be the one where they meet. Well, I can, I can tell you if I thought... Um, it was the one that spoiled it. Yeah, because like I, my theory is that you saw something from like the middle of the movie and thought that was the ending, and it well, happened to also you... be the ending. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then it was then spoiled for me because I went to my friend and I asked. Hey, they, they just shouldn't have put that in there. Maybe I wanted to clarify it to you. I asked you. I was like, "So you really want me to tell you?" <laughs> and you said, "Yeah." Well, maybe you shouldn't have. So that was your fault. I'm trying to find it. You're not going to see it anywhere. Game. How do you know? A hunch. You don't know anything. Those movies are so good. They're very Please good. see it. I, wh- which one? Me? Who are you talking to? What? You. Ghosts well, and of everybody else. Hidden World you. or just How to Train a Dragon in general? I mean, you've seen the first two, right? Yes. And yeah, go That's see Hidden World. That's why I was World. confused. Yeah, go see what Hidden World. Please see it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I plan on it. It's so good. It's so good. The animation looks... Great. It's it's real good. Can can we do the Christmas Eve open one present and then you know what? I'm I'm saying I'm suggesting that movies watched is like Christmas Day. Santa comes. We open so you all want, of what your, do you, you all want of me your, just Give yeah. my like little like. I want no. I want you feel. to give us a little just a little gift and I'll you know I'll prompt it. Um, yeah. Is the toothless beard real? The toothless beard. God, the toothless dang. does not have no. a beard. Is in the, the is the is the hiccup beard real? Is the hiccup, the hiccup beard hiccup real? Beard? Yeah. Yes. Oh. It is Sorry. in the movie. <laughs> For how long? Not very. Dang. Dip. He looks good with the beard. It's right. probably about hiccup beard. How big is it? How big is it? What do you mean? How big is the beard? Is it that? It's the picture. Is it uh, actually yeah, exactly it's, it's that? that? That's oh, the wow. scene. That's a... It's a good beard. It is. He looks good with a beard. Just like a pickup beard. What a man. He grew up so much. Well, yeah, he's five years apart in every movie. Yeah, and also animated. So Correct. He can do whatever he wants. Correct. Girl, you can have whatever you want. You can have whatever you want. Yes. What? News? Yeah, news. <laughs> uh, let's go movie news. That was a pretty quick new releases segment. Are we going to be able to do this, Brian? Yeah, we got it. it. We're fine. All right, cool. Uh, then let's go new movie, movie news. Go, Jingle. Movie news now, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there's a... a uh, um, Can we not talk about the first one? I really just don't care. Yeah, sure. Should we at least it's say like what the, the John, first one it's is? It's like yeah. the John Wayne Playboy. John Wayne thing. is racist. Did I you know? I don't care. 
I'm yeah. surprised. <laughs> Come on. Think anyone was John everything, Wayne. Everything that I've seen of it has been like, oh, wow, John Wayne was racist. Who could have seen that coming? Who cares? Yeah. Cool. I mean, I don't mean to say, like, who cares? Like, <laughs> Obviously, someone cares. Who cares? Racism? Uh, I mean, like, the, who cares? This person was, who is now dead. He's dead, yeah, right? Yeah, he's definitely dead. Yeah, he's... Yeah, so, like, who this cares guy who's this dead, person who's now who was dead alive, was once racist in, like, yeah. the 50s? The 70s. Still. He's yeah. arguably more <laughs> yeah. racist. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, less open about it, but, like, yeah. more in practice. <laughs> Just kind of a time where it was more acceptable to be racist, I guess. Blatantly racist. Yeah. Just grew up in the 50s as a white person from the South. Like, come on. What are you going to do? When was John Wayne born? When did he grow up? I don't care. John I mean, pre-1960. Pre-1970. I would assume. 1907. 1907. So, like, what? He grew up in, like, the 20s? The 10s? Uh, yeah, I guess. He was president of Glendale High School class of 1925. You so really think that, 20s. like, white people from the South in the 20s were raised to like black people? I don't. Like, <laughs> yeah, who no cares? Way. He died uh, two years after Star Wars came out. He's dead now. What's the big deal? Yeah. One year before Empire Strikes Back. Uh-huh. Just wanted to, to answer. Ah. Um, this next piece, we're, I mean, it was an empty, it was a dying, dead, week gang. Um, we were, I was really digging. Uh, there are a lot of people in Dune. That's a now. pretty solid, like, Is thing, it? though. Cause you it think? Because it's coming out. <laughs> like, people keep being added to this There's, movie. There are a lot, a and lot then, of names Did you see recently, Dune pushed, uh... Fantastic Beasts 3 out of its release date. Whoa, really? They, like, put in Dune, and they're delaying Fantastic Beasts. Like, that's how big this movie... They're pushing Damn. this freaking movie. Yeah, it's... Directed by... Denis Villeneuve. Thank you for saying that for me. Yep. <laughs> you know I was going to You would have said that. Dennis. Yeah. Dennis Villeneuve. Jason Momoa, Rebecca Ferguson, Timothy Chalamet, Chalamet Josh, Josh Brolin, Zendaya, Oscar, Oscar I, Isaac. People keep being added to this Dave movie. Dave Bautista, Javier Bardem, Javier Bardem. Look at Stellan Skarsgård. Stellan Skarsgård and Charlotte, Charlotte Rampling. All of those people are A-list actors. Yeah, Every and single one of them is They're the so only well ones known. listed so far. Exactly. This, that's like, pretty they just good. They keep adding people to this movie, and like, they kick out Fantastic Beasts 3. Warner Brothers like really only franchise at this point. Unless you count DC, oh, which nobody cool. does. Come on. Do, uh, Dune is going to be pretty good, guys. The oh, set gosh. decorator was also the set decorator on The Last Jedi. So... You know, he was also the set decorator on the original Dune. Yeah, but... Jesus. Dune, The Last Jedi, you know. Wait, I just uh... said Doom instead of Dune. Well, I mean, because he you did were right. On, he did, he said it he on, did Doom. He did Doom. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's the original Dune. <laughs> Well, they hold sounded up, hold up. Are they making a Dark Crystal TV show? Wow, that was really dumb of hold me. Hold on. That was really stupid. You know what the Dark Crystal is, right? I don't know what the Dark Crystal is. Have you ever seen those, uh, really, this stuff? No. You've never seen that? No. The that creepy looks... as hell movie? They're making a TV show out of it? There you go, that's I didn't movie know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was probably announced a while ago. It's in production. Oh, well, post-production. Um... Anyway, yeah, Dune. Uh, that movie's gonna be freaking awesome. Yeah, you're gonna punch me, probably. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, I, I don't know anything about Dune. Oh, no, I know nothing oh, about cool, Dune. Oh, cool, great. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm, like, kind of purposely, like, just keeping myself away from just anything Dune. Sure. I know. I'm, like, I just want to watch it as a Denis Villeneuve movie. I know that... Is it... Is Eli Roth writing it? Uh, it's Eric no. Roth. Okay. I was, I, I was gonna say, I saw that from far away, and I was like, ooh, Eli Roth is a... Uh, what else is Eric Not Rothman? always oh, the best whoa. writer in the world. So Forrest Gump, Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And Munich. And Munich. That's, that's pretty good. House of Cards. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, a Star is Born. Ooh, that's 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 really good. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wow. but extremely loud and incredibly close, that's suspicious. Uh, this guy's written a lot. Dang! Alright, so it's got a it's got a pretty solid roster. It's in pre production. Yeah, I know. Like, it has everything going for it, I think. Yeah. Denis yeah. Villeneuve, I think, is one of the best directors working today. The only name I don't know on here is Charlotte Rampling. Only man I don't know is Charlotte Rampling. I said name. You oh, moron. Okay. Charlotte Rampling's great. Is she? What's she been She's in? very good. Uh, 45 Years recently is, Red like, Sparrow her big too. movie. Oh, uh, yeah, Red Sparrow. What a Did great Did you like film. Red Sparrow? Mm, I liked it initially. 
for... I think mostly because Jennifer Lawrence is really hot in it. Yeah. Uh, but then when I thought about it more... Uh, yeah, no. You're talking Not about Fantastic Beasts. I was going to ask you, did you see the second Fantastic Beasts? I Beast? never saw Fantastic Beasts 2. The uh, Crimes of Grendel Boy? Yeah, and I consider myself to be, like, one of the biggest Harry Potter fans yeah, that that's... I know about. Um, and I never saw it. I think it was mostly because I was afraid... <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid. So, I'll tell you a little story about Fantastic Beasts. Yeah, go for it. Two. <clears throat> I, uh... <coughs> so I saw Bohemian Rhapsody yeah. with a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. And everybody that I saw... It was my second time watching it. And I, everybody that I saw it with really loved it. And I was like, you know, it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's good. I that actually, wasn't, I was actually, that the one that I was there for? You might have been. Yeah, you were there. I think, okay, yeah, yeah, You yeah. were there. And um, <clears throat> I I actually still like that movie. I, I, Bohemian Rhapsody? Yeah, I don't okay. get the hate for it. I don't think it's best picture at all, but no. I, I still like that movie. To me, it was a, just um, a quick side point. It was just kind of painfully mediocre. I think I've said that before, but there's yeah. nothing really blatantly awful about it. Sorry, go on. Yeah, so I saw that movie, and everybody that we were with loved it to death. Yeah. Um, and one of the people well, in particular... Huh? Stupid. Not everyone. Yeah. I just gave criticism. One of the people in particular was our friend Eric. 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 Eric Papa. just goes crazy for any music in any movie ever. <laughs> and I was like, dude, have you seen A Star Is Born? He said, no, I haven't seen A Star Is Born. So I took him to see A Star Is Born. Yeah. And we were sitting in University Mall Theaters, yeah. which is a which theater is nearby yeah. that has the most paper-thin walls that has ever existed in a movie theater. Yeah, Crimes of Grundle Boy was right next door. And we were... Crimes of Grindelwald is right next door, oh boy. and every now and then, like, we, the only sound effect that we could hear from Crimes of Grindelwald, which surprised me, we, I thought I would be, we'd be hearing everything, the only sound effect we could hear is what I think was, um, the apparating, but it's just this, <laughs> <laughs> and that would just go over the songs, or like, the part of the movie we were yeah. watching, and I was like, Wow, I I really can't imagine a context where that's an enjoyable sound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to really know. Yeah. And I don't know. I think I I know a lot of people. So I actually had tickets for Fantastic Beasts two like opening day, Whoa. and then couldn't go because I had an interview for Duke that day. Right. So I had to cancel then, and then all my friends who were going who saw mm-hmm. it were all just like, "That was bad. <laughs> like I don't want." see that again and I was like oh yeah and then I just kind of got scared off of it and I'm like too afraid to admit that uh, uh, god damn why all the sounds I'm too afraid to admit that a Harry Potter movie would be done right because I up until now I will not admit That's that fair. any of them are bad one through seven or one that, through eight or Fantastic Beasts one I think for they're sure. all good yeah they're all good um uh, there's certainly some that are just kind of eh the first Harry Potter, I think, was... The first Harry Potter movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. Really? Pure nostalgia. Okay, yeah, but, that's true. Uh, that, that's easily the movie I've seen the most times, had easily hundreds no. of times. Um, I love that movie to death. I think about it every night before I go to sleep. <laughs> and it makes me happy. Every night, wow. Yeah, every night. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. No, that's the second one. Chamber of Secrets is not great. Philosopher's but Stone. Philosopher. I like the use of Philosopher's Stone. Thank you. Good I job. went to England once. I actually have Blu ray copies of both versions. Wow. Because I'm they, cool. Do they say it as yeah. Philosopher in the movie? Yeah. They say it as both. There's two different versions. What? They filmed those scenes twice. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. Every single, what? every single scene where you can see a character saying Sorcerer's or Philosopher's <laughs> Stone, they filmed twice. That's <laughs> That is the dumbest thing. What the hell? Yeah. That doesn't have to happen. Why did they change it at all? For the books, even. That's why a lot, there are a lot of either L cuts or J cuts. I don't remember which one, but the ones where they cut before the audio finishes. Yeah. When the kids say the words, Philosopher's Stone. If you watch the movie, you notice that. <laughs> like, because, like, okay, so there's this one scene, it's like, we know about the Sorcerer's Stone, and it, like, cuts on Sorcerer's Stone as McGonagall's, like, closing the door, That's and it cuts crazy. on that. So that's, you can actually notice that, but they actually did do both. It's a British so version and an American version. And when I bought the entire 
series yeah. on Blu-ray, it came the I got the British version because it was just cheaper and it came with the Philosopher's Stone. So I had and I already had the Sorcerer's Stone, so I had both. That's strange. Why would I, I don't get um cuz they were going to make somebody mad. Cuz British people would be pissed. Yeah. If they didn't do Philosophers, but then if you did Philosophers, American, American people confused. would be like what? I thought it was called the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> that, that's what all Americans sound like? Yeah! <laughs> I'm looking forward for the, to the next one. The one with the, the I'm Grundle I'm looking boy. forward to the Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. That's the one we're full of more. This is the This is the Disgusting noises. <laughs> Just nothing. Okay. <laughs> Weekly quality content. Oh, yeah. Do you know that the trailer that we put out there that has now over a thousand views says quality content in it? I typed the words quality content. Yeah. Quality podcasts, I guess. About uh, what you're listening to right now. Wait, go back to it real quick. Yeah. Yeah. It that? has 1850 views and six likes. Six likes. Yes. People are terrible. Zero dislikes, though. Hey, Pretty good ratio. Zero comments, too, but whatever. Hey, go comment. Even if it's something bad. And watch my freaking buddy's video, Yeah, man. watch his freaking buddy's video, man. It's really cute. Half it's of it was out of focus. Really, it's re- Yeah. That's, it's I really mean, out of true. focus. But it was really cute. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Aw, oh, look at this little man. I want to eat his skull. I want to boil his skull like an egg and eat it. My skull is kind of egg-shaped. It is. It's brutally egg-shaped. The only comment is you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go go look at that video, click my channel, and uh, watch the video that <clears throat> I made about my cat that passed away. Or my Atomic Bomb English Project. <laughs> um, or Pebbly. Pebbly has over 200 views now. Watch which Pebbly. Is my... Who's Pebbly? Pebbly is one of his old... Uh... <laughs> it's the first short film I ever made. Is it really? Yes. <clears throat> I like it a lot. Thanks. It's I forgot Nikki every... is in that. Yeah. Oh my god. I only remember Nico. It's Nikki weird because I'm like good friends with Nikki now. Yeah. And like, <laughs> and now I have to go home and watch it again and be like, Nikki, what are you doing in ninth grade? Do you remember the, <clears throat> um, the montage in it that was yeah. way too long? It's Just so good though. way too long. I love the, I think it's genuinely genius the part where he like jumps over the, uh, <laughs> the fence. That made thank me you, laugh so hard. Thank you. We were planning, we had been planning another bit for it. A bit for it that was pretty similar to that, um, where he would like have a coke can, and he'd like bring it to his forehead, and then yell cut and smash it with his foot on the ground, <laughs> and then put it back against his head so it looks like he smashes it. Uh, movie magic. Would you be interested in doing a Pebbly reboot? Yeah. Like a remake of Pebbly. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's do it. Cool. Um, the Oscars. Recently, they're announced. doing all the categories. Well, they recently we we did. Yeah, we, we never covered cover the other those. thing. Yeah, they announced that they Within weren't going to be doing some categories. There's like cinematography. Was, can you get them all? Uh, can you get them all? A uh, short. Which short? Animated. No, live action. Live action short. Um, I got this. I got this. Uh, lighting. Film editing. Lighting is not an Oscar Film category. Editing. To clarify. Film editing. Yes, film editing is one of them. Uh, why you is do know that because it's cinematography. <laughs> well, shut up. Okay. Idiot. <laughs> um, and the other one. There's one more, right? Uh, this is the only category to have only three nominees for no reason. Um, oh, I, lo- I love how you think that that'll clear that up for me. I mean, it's <laughs> one out of twenty-four categories. To uh, do that. So. Director. Yeah, director only has three nominees. <laughs> and Perfect. they would put it on the commercial break. Yeah, they would definitely do director on the commercial break. It was makeup and hairstyling. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, makeup and hairstyling they only have three nominees. Now. What is it? I'm going to assume Vice. It's I don't even know what it is. I think it's Vice, Mary Queen of Scots, and... Uh, favorite? I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. It's definitely not Mary Queen of Scots and makeup. the favorite, though. Right? Because those are too similar. Oscar. So they probably picked one. Uh, I'm looking it up. Give me just a second, folks. Maybe Bohemian? Uh, I don't know why that would be, though. Uh, border. 
Border. Border, Never heard Mary of it. Queen of Scots, and... Mary Queen of Scots, and Vice. I was right. Yep. Um, but, yeah, it only has three nominees, and every other category has five. Wow. Why? Because uh, no one cares about that one. Come on, if you can find five documentary shorts, you can find... It's pretty easy to find a documentary makeup short. makeup and hair... Okay, add... You could, like, run to add the nearest... Add Bohemian Rhapsody, add the favorite. Run to the nearest What's, what's the flaw? Festival. What's the, what's the harm? I don't know. Bohemian Rhapsody? That's, I mean, that's true, but... the favorite. I mean, what, what what was there in Bohemian? That was... Freddy. They put in fake teeth and a mustache. Friend, I don't... <laughs> not that hard. I could do that. I mean, I'm not going to say that I could do that, because I really can't. But, um... I could do that, probably. Anyway, it's good. This uh, this Oscar season has been a lot of, <laughs> like, we're going to do this. And then everyone's like, uh, don't you dare. And they're <sighs> like, all right, yeah, we won't. We won't do that. Um, with the exception being nominating Black Panther for anything. Well, that's because most people are on board with that. That Yeah, well, th- most people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're, so they were originally not going to air those, and now they are because everybody that's got good. pissed. Yeah, cause um, uh, whatever, do other stuff and things. Um, let's move on to this next final thing. Um, Star Wars Episode Nine has finished filming, guys. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming, and I'm sad, frankly. It's coming. Uh, not because of anything in particular, other than the fact that it just means that I wasn't, I wasn't cast. <laughs> I did an audition and nobody reached out to me, but I, I don't know. I just kind of hoped that maybe like Daisy Ridley or John Boyega would be like, uh, hey, there's this uh, podcast called M3 Movies, Mr. JJ, uh, that I listen to. Uh, and this guy in it, he's really cute and really cool and uh, can act and stuff. And uh, you should, his name is Jack. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I don't know. Maybe even just like an intern or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. You, you should apply you, for those things. You talk for a while. I'm too, it's too much for me. You go for a while. Uh, it wrapped. Film it. Yeah, films stop filming eventually when they get all their footage. I know, but it's... So, I just... um, they stopped and now they're editing it. Yeah. And, and then, then Star Wars, movie. Star Wars is coming. Is it it's coming December this year? Yes, December twenty fifth, I believe. No, that's Christmas. What am I talking about? Uh, December. Yeah, December. Oh, I think it's 21st. the first. I think it's the fifteenth. Fifteenth. Yes, yeah, Star Wars, Episode Nine release date, December twentieth. So I was. It was, was right in the middle you. of the two dates that I got. I was close with you. What did you say? I said twenty first. Yeah, well, technically we're closer than me. Technically. I, s- I can't believe there's still not a name for it, actually. I'm really surprised they haven't. Just leave it as, like, episode nine. Star Wars. <laughs> People would be mad. Are you kidding? People get mad no matter really what the name mad. is. Who cares? That's true. Uh, development. Yeah. I'm excited. They're probably going to kill off Lando, but... That's yeah, cool. they're definitely only bringing back Billy D. Williams to kill him. <laughs> I think they're probably going to kill C-3PO, too. I, I'm, the only pers- I'm the only person in the world that loves C-3PO. Yeah. <laughs> I love C-3PO. Something about him, man. It's just so, like... Something in the way... I won't do that. Si- the so iconic. Get... I mean, yes. Everything it's about Star so Wars iconic. is iconic. I love C-3PO. I want to do a video, or, like, a... One of, yeah, I guess a video of Star Wars, but every time something iconic happens, it speeds up like 5%. Spoiler alert, it's two minutes long. So what do you do for like the crawl? Does the crawl like just keep going? Or like does that get one 5%? Yeah, that's just, that's one 5%. Like the opening shot, yeah. the crawl. The long time go. Long Galaxy time go. The far, far away. Tashi Station. Yeah. Well, I was going to Tashi Station, but you got far reverse. <laughs> that was awful. That was nothing. Okay. The um, death off of Star Wars or the Star Destroyer coming in over top, shooting at the Tantive Four. Uh, 
you guys binary would be, sounds. You guys right? would be proud. Jack chose not to talk about Marvel today. I did, actually. Because I'm... <laughs> frankly, I'm too tired to... <laughs> I don't uh, have the energy to... But I do have something that I would like to talk about at some point. Did you see that there's a Twitter campaign for, like, saving dead... Saving... It's, like, save... Uh, what's the... Daredevil? <laughs> it's like a Twitter campaign. Save Daredevil. I'm Easy like, for you to say. No, but, like... I don't care it, about the TV shows. No, but, like, uh, it was... Like... It, the Twitter account that's, like, running it... Replied to, like, one of the things that... Because the Punisher and Jessica Jones got canceled. Yeah. So the Twitter account replied to it and was like, "It's been a tough day. We're ready to keep. We're ready to get back on our feet and keep fighting." And I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, what the hell? Are you like, you're not March for Our Lives? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> you sound so serious. Calm down. Fight for the cause. <laughs> Jeez. <coughs> Calm down. You lost. Uh, <laughs> I think the problem is the nerds are becoming normal." We need to start bullying nerds again. Yeah, I think bullying needs to come back. Listen, I'm, I'm a nerd. All right, I get it. I'm a, I'm a nerd. Can we like un- bullying cancel isn't fun? But I bullying. I need to be bullied. Can we uncancel bullying? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Take back all of those uh, PSAs that they showed us in school. Yeah. Bring back bullying. Bring back Ugh. bullying. Look at all these. Whoa, look we're at good all people. these idiots talking about Marvel. Anyway, also. Uh, the other Marvel thing was that Black Widow is getting rewritten. Oh, cool. Isn't that, wasn't it like R or something? I don't know, but it's just, rewrites are usually not a good thing, but we'll see. Does it really matter? Bond 25 is also getting rewritten. A good Did you see Bond 25 also? Rewrites are fine. They are... Reshoots are definitely more dangerous, Yeah. but rewrites just generally, like, can cause, like, um conflicting tones and that's like true. weird okay, pacing and like different ideas going in different directions yeah and... so right. cool uh let's move on to the next thing go uh, it's new trailers so go jingles please new trailers Nice. Sound like I said go shingles. That's dub. Uh, we didn't watch one. We didn't watch. What the? Why did you put it on there? We didn't watch that one. Which one? <laughs> the second one. Yeah, the... we did. That's the trailer I showed you. Oh yeah. Never mind. Jeez, you're stupid. <laughs> I literally showed you that trailer before the podcast, and you're like, we didn't watch that one. Uh, Rocket Man. That's the first one. Yeah. This. This looks wasn't like... even a trailer. Looks it like, was just yeah. them talking. Like, it was like an interview, like beat for beat, Bohemian Rhapsody. It looks like is what that's gonna be, but with. Hey, but I will say this: Bohemian Rhapsody had great potential. Sure. That it was not capitalized on. Right. Right, because this one just looks. Eh, I think. I mean, I'm down for it. I don't. I, uh, I'm not I don't, against it. I don't think I'll watch it the moment it hits theaters. If it. You know, if people are talking about it and it is actually pretty good, then I'll probably check it out. But for now, I don't. I don't know. I don't really have much interest in it. But that's just me. Nothing against uh, my main squeeze, Elton. Nothing against my main peas, Taryn. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It'll probably be like mediocre. Yeah. It's like a May release, so I'm not expecting anything huge. Well. You say that, but you know what else was released in May? Avengers Infinity War. Got him. You dumb bastard. No. Uh, what else was released? Solo. Star Ooh. Wars. Arguably. No, nah, I won't say that to you, but, like, people have made the argument that that's worse. <laughs> yeah, sure. I but will not Star agree. Wars. The original Star Wars was May 25th. Did, did Infinity War come out in May? I think so. Yeah. I think so. When did the world's worst movie come out? <laughs> when did Infinity War? Catwoman, <laughs> two thousand four. Jesus. Uh, when did? Sorry, give me a second. This would have been a whole lot funnier. The gag would have been a lot funnier if I actually just looked up. No, it's April. April. Uh, you stupid. 
You Dumbo. They were like, we shouldn't premiere against Solo, right? And then they're like, oh, we could definitely. You know what's? You know what's been really nice. We haven't had a new Marvel movie since July of last year, and it's been like. When is the next one? Um, what is the next one? Avengers four. Yeah, it's April again. I think. Jeez. Why is it already coming out? I don't know. It's so stupid. Let things take time. Have, have movies been taking quicker times as of late? I feel like they have been. Or is that just me? Am I stupid? Did I just say a stupid thing? Um, I mean, movies definitely come out faster. Yeah. Not in every franchise, but... I do believe... I mean, Star Wars is, what, year and a half in between each? Yeah. Well, no. Two years. No, because they pushed back last year. Yeah. Because it was originally supposed to be summer. Um, yeah, so two years between each. Yeah. That's well, a pretty year. long time, too. Uh, if we're counting Rogue One and Solo. We're not counting Rogue One and Solo. Okay, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are different teams and different, like, um, their, their own things. What was I, uh... Um, what was I talking about? Well, having Avengers 3 oh, come yeah. out in April and then okay, having I Avengers think... 4 come out the next April is, I think, a little quick. I think I saw something. Especially and this this may This may be entirely wrong. Um... I saw some advertising thing that was like, the wait is over for the next Avengers. And it's like, what wait? It yeah, hasn't even wait? been a full year People are yet. just impatient. Yeah. And that's what Marvel profits on. Am I right? Long shot? Quality over, or quantity over quality. Long shot. Oh, yeah. The movie Long Shot. This looks cute. It is really good. It looks really good. I'm really happy I got picked up and is being distributed so fast because it was at Sundance yeah and uh, I didn't actually see who picked it up but somebody did and they're releasing it like pretty soon May I think it looks fun like a good time it does look like a good time and I'm wondering if it's going to be like like how raunchy it's going to be just because it's Seth Rogen like I'm just curious I don't actually know know if it's going to be look too much yeah I know but I'm wondering if that's like them trying to appeal to people right I don't know I feel like it looked um I don't know, a, l- a little bit run-of-the-mill in some places, but overall... It's I, I say this fun. often, the world needs more good rom-coms, and this looks like it could be one of them. Do you say that often? Yeah. How often? Pretty often. Hey, Ultra fans at home, because I know we have those, uh, please, I said it earlier today. Please make a compilation of all of the times that Brian has said that the world Oh, I don't know how many times I've said it on the podcast. <laughs> I definitely said it at least once because of the time I watched The Big Sick. Yeah, I think you did actually. It's like every time I watch The Big Sick, every time I watch The Big Sick, I'm like, oh my god, more, 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 more. And um, then there's no more. So let's talk about this one. This uh, the, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, because you guys talked about it last week, but you and didn't release that, and we cannot ha- not ha- talk about it. Uh, so it didn't come out this last week, but it came out the week before. Uh, the Aladdin teaser trailer. Aladdin. That the world is exploding over. Um. We I don't might... even remember any of it until the show. No, yeah, God, it's I don't very even forgettable. remember. It. I don't... Um, so everyone blew up because whatever magazine released a picture of Will Smith as the genie, and he wasn't blue. Yeah, everyone was mad. Um, great, more sounds. Um, and then they released the teaser trailer where he is blue. Where he is blue, and it was. More nightmarish than I could have ever possibly imagined. He looked like a member of the Blue Man group. They CG'd him. Yeah, not great. Not great. And I'm not... Did they CG'd him uh, to make him... It's weird, though, because they CG'd him, but they CG'd him in a way where it just makes it look like they painted him blue. Yeah. So not only is it bad CG, but, like, it's also, like, just, like, it looks like they painted him blue. Yeah. Not good. Not good Not at all. great at all. Um, also, I, his just, like, line delivery and joke in the trailer is not good. Awful. Yeah. And also, he's... I, I can just absolutely what? tell what? that he is not going to encapsulate this, the genie. Not at all. No, it's going to be bad. At all. It's going to be really rocky. No, get, that movie looks really bad. Get your uh, MC Hammer pants uh, up, and, up and comfy. The, you're gonna have a rocky time with this one, guys. Hey, you know, Aladdin looks like crap, but t- yeah. uh, Tim Burton's B- Dumbo movie looks really good. Yeah, it looks so, great. I think that movie actually looks amazing. Where I think it? Dumbo looks phenomenal. When does it come out? 
I hope soon, because I would like Dumbo to see that. Dumbo 2019. Uh, month, March so. 29th. That's pretty soon. A little bit over a month. Cool. Wahoo! Um, anyway, yeah, about the genie, I have a running theory that they were planning on not making him blue and taking it a different approach. But and then, then the backlash? Yeah, then they I got the backlash. I don't think they did that. that. I'm, That's what I'm I think a little they skeptical did, so of that. that. But also, at the same time, like, what the hell, man? Are they doing the songs? Is, yeah, I think is so. Is Will Smith going to oh, sing He Never Had a Friend Is like he going to do the um, hip-hop variation that oh. they're saying that they're trying to do on Friend Like Me? Because that would be bad. That would be bad if that's Will just, Smith were to... I think that's arguably the most iconic voice performance of all time. Oh, for sure. Is Robin Williams as the right. genie. Right next to, like, Mark Hamill as the Joker. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you. <laughs> but... Ho, 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 ho. Oh, this is not going to be good. I think, is, I think the uh, whole world can agree that it's not going to be great. But... Ooh, not promising. Great, sounds. Great, thanks. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks. You suck. Sorry, that's my sister again. I'm not sorry. She should be sorry. Um, Good one. Let's I'm just, let's uh, move on to movies that we watched. I guess. Yeah. Yes. We have actually managed to fill 50 minutes so far, which is uh, remarkable. Pretty impressive. So uh, let's go jingle. Way. Go jingle now. Go jingle. Movies that we've watched. I'm gonna let the, I'm gonna let this wait out for a little bit, but I'm not gonna pause it again. God damn. Oh my God. <laughs> Are we good? We're good. All right, cool. We took a little break there so that everyone could get situated because my parents came in the door. Um, I saw a couple things, Bri, so... You start. Cool. Um, so I watched the Phantom Menace behind the scenes documentary thing. And then I watched Sorry to Bother You. Both were good. I'll talk about the Star Wars one first, because I don't really have much to say about it, other than it's utterly heartbreaking and kind of devastating. Because um, George Lucas talks about, like, um, like putting his whole life into it and being really dedicated to it and, like, knowing that it has to do well. And it's like, it, it, it hurts knowing the backlash that comes from it um, and how everyone responds to it and seeing everyone in the theater exploding when the Star Wars song comes on and then <laughs> my favorite part of it uh, when George Lucas is sitting in the theater watching the god, god damn uh, sitting in the theater watching the screening well not the screening but the um, rough cut <laughs> It's just a close-up of him in the dark, sitting quietly, and he goes, um, I may have gone a bit too far in some places. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, my poor guy. Um, but oh, it's kind George. of a fascinating watch, um, even if you don't like the movies, or the movie, um, it's really cool to see how it all sort of comes together and how it's done professionally in the industry. Um, cause not a whole lot of videos show that. I find a lot of behind the scenes videos that are made for movies are just kind of like talking about the director or talking about the actor or about certain set pieces or whatever and don't actually show the sort of nitty gritty people getting down to work and what it really takes to get something together. Um, so it's an interesting watch. It's, it's cool. You should check it out if you're interested in movies. Yeah, who? you talk. I saw How to Train Your Dragon. Yay! Uh, I think that this film has cemented the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy yeah. as one, of the, one of the greatest trilogies of all time. See, I think I haven't seen the third one, just but just based off of what you said to me already, um, it seems to me like it's kind of like the original Star of Shocker. It sounds like the original Star Wars trilogy 
First one, sure. really good. I actually, I actually one, buy that. even better. Third one, good, but not as good as the first two. I still have... I, I actually do want to see it again before yeah. I really compare it to the other two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are elements of it that I think are really, really good. Mm-hmm. There are elements of it that I wish they had gone a little further on. Right. But I think the overall themes are just, like... They're concluded in such a way that's help like it's handled with such care. Like it's so Yeah. Like these Those characters movies just are, seem very genuine. They're like, so genuine. And the ending is perfect. Perfect. I think it's legitimately perfect. Wow. It's so good. I praise. How they end it. Yeah. It's amazing. And just this like bond between Hiccup and Toothless that exists it gets expanded upon. Because oh, you know, good. like up until now, as cute as they are and how good they are for each other, they're really just, like, they're buds. It's like his pet, like yeah. his dog, yeah. right? And oh, so even that on. is expanded on in this movie. Like, oh, their relationship cool. is kind of brought to its core. Yeah. And Astrid's really good in the movie, uh-huh. and his mom is great in the movie, uh-huh. or Helga or something like that. Is... Um, there's lots of cute moments for kids. The little baby dragon is Spoilers. adorable. That's not a spoiler. He's in the trailer. Uh, clearly Toothless and the light, white knight. Not those. Boy, the Guy Fieri. What? The Guy Fieri. That's not what I'm talking about. What, Toothless and Guy Fieri don't have a child in this one? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the baby. Tell me you wouldn't want to see Guy Fieri cross with a dragon. <laughs> I'm talking about... <laughs> The baby, uh, oh, I don't know what they're called. It's Fish Legs is, Fish Legs is dragon has a yeah, baby, sure. and then he carries around the little baby dragon in his pouch like oh, a kangaroo, great. and he's adorable. That's great. Uh, it's one of the cutest movies I've seen in a long time. Oh. I love uh, Paddington 2. Okay, there isn't a cuter movie than Paddington 2. <laughs> sure. Okay? Right. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that trilogy is just absolutely phenomenal. John Powell's score is... I chose, the, like, one of the more obscure yeah. I was gonna <laughs> things say. to go with. But whatever, it was in my head. Um, I do what I want. It is great. Jay Baruchel's voice performance is not talked about enough. It's so good. He's a hiccup. He's a hiccup. Good. It's so good. Good. It's so good. Good. The flashback, their flashback scenes... Um, with Papa, yes, yeah. Papa. Um, the, and I think they're handled really well, and I really like how they're done. I hope so. It's I, visually, I've said, I've it's visually beautiful. I've said it before on the podcast, but I'm not typically a huge fan of flashbacks. Are they handled with care in this one? I think they are. Yeah. Um, it's visually impressive, just as the first two were. Mm-hmm. Um, the villain I like a lot. Yeah. I think it's really interesting. Um, he's not the most fleshed out villain I've ever well, seen, okay, but I think he fits the movie. On Drago, in the second one, Drago to me. Drago. Okay, Drago. Drago. Drago to me is represents two things. Right. One just is like the ultimate foil to Hiccup, right? Like mm-hmm. Hiccup is all about tender love and care, and Drago is all about big, scary, beating, disgusting, brute. Yeah. nastiness right so it's very obvious there yeah uh and secondly he's also seen to me as like this um point that uh it's like a kind of revenge aspect for stoic right because he yeah. basically killed everyone on burke right uh except for stoic um and while i think that he's very obvious uh i won't fault that mm-hmm. really because i think he works well enough and uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2 does not focus on Drago at all, rightfully so. Yeah. I, he's not a character, really. He's yeah. more of an obstacle. Yeah. Um, in the third one, the villain, I'm forgetting his name right now, but kind of acts the same way, but he's slightly more entertaining okay. and has a little bit more to him. To new, right. Um, he's a foil to Hiccup and the gang, uh-huh. but in a different kind of way. Which I thought was interesting and brave for a kids movie. Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
I don't think it's better than two. I'll have to think about if it's better yeah. than one or not. Yeah. I want to see it. I think two is genuinely one of the best animated movies like ever made. Yeah. It's so good. Up there with Into the Spider Verse. I think it's. Mmm, that's tough. I have to think on that. I'll get back to you on that one. I think it's better. No, no, I'll get back to you now. I think it's better than Into the Spider Verse. Toy Story 4. Has not been released. Your point. I think it's better than Toy Story 4. Wow. I cannot. Pretty controversial. S- well, I think it's better than all three Toy Stories. <laughs> so I can't see Toy Story 4 being better. It's just a trend. <laughs> do I think it's better than all three? Yeah, I do think it's better than all three Toy Stories. All right. Cool. I love How to Train Your Dragon, too. Um, I saw Sorry to Bother You, finally. You told me to, like... An even better movie. You told <laughs> me to, like, how long ago was it? It's been months. Because I was, I was, I was in Boston when I saw it, yeah. and I probably immediately texted you and said, "Hey, yeah, go see this movie, you yeah. ape." <laughs> um, this movie was not at all what I was expecting, even better. in any way, shape, or form. But it was even better. like I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. Um, and I loved it. I don't, that sounded very insincere, but I really honestly loved it. It was really well done. Um, everyone was great in it. I'm just like trying to think of praise to give it because it was so good, but like I'm coming up short right now. It's so bizarre, and I like weird movies, which is probably why I liked it. Boots Riley is a revolutionary. Uh, absolutely. Um, and there was something really interesting about it to me, how it... Uh, in sort of, I guess, get out style, but in its own way, brought up those prevalent race and social class issues. Mm -hmm. Um, But what was interesting to me is, unlike Get Out, it did it without those issues directly affecting the protagonist, if you know what I mean? Like, um, where What's-His-Face is actually stuck in the house and trying to escape from the weirdos. Uh, Cassius is just kind of Cassius Green bubbling a along for until a the until the end. Which I love all the whatever. names for the characters. In yeah, this movie. Detroit, Detroit, Cassius Green, Salvador, 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 uh, Terry Crews, Mister Bleep. Yeah, uh, I love that. I love that, and they didn't bring it up at all. It was no, just his name. It's just there. Uh, I'm trying to think. What's uh, Stephen Yeun's character name? It's like Squish or something. Yeah, Army Hammer was. Uh, I don't know. Good, I guess. It's phenomenal. He's great. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, I guess, because I wanted to... When I was watching it, I wanted to go into it not really knowing much, and if you do too, I don't want to do that to you. Um, Because it's certainly something that... I think something you should experience with no one else. Yes, for sure. I am of the sort of mindset that spoilers don't really do much to ruin a film. Squeeze. His name is Squeeze. Squeeze, right. Um, (laughs) Stephen Hughes. But this is certainly something that... If I had gone in knowing what was going to happen, it would have been a very different experience, and it's just something that you have to yeah. know on, or experience on the first go. Um, just crazy. Just insane. I've never seen a movie like it. Never. Never. <laughs> I thought the cinematography was really nice, too. It's phenomenal. I think if Boots Riley continues making movies he's, anywhere near as good as this, he'll yeah. be... He's the next What Kubrick. else has he done ever? He was a rapper. Oh. Wow. He was in this band called, this rap group called The Coup. Yeah. For a while, and they broke up, and he's been wanting to make this movie for, like, years. Dang, good for him. Uh, well, he already made a movie. It was a documentary. A bad one, apparently. Yeah, who cares? I don't care. All right. Great. <laughs> um, the worst. But, yeah. I, I think if he, like, watch. keeps making movies like that, which I don't know if he will... Yeah. Right? Because, like, he obviously is a music guy. Yeah. But if he keeps making movies like that, he's easily Which is, okay, a household name. Me. That's he's... funny to me. The My biggest complaint with it is that the music wasn't utilized well enough. It felt weak to me at some points. What? I mean, it's oh. probably just me, but... You're an animal. Uh, yeah, sure. But You're <laughs> a literal lizard. Well, there were really important parts of the movie where the music just kind of felt lame, I guess like really important parts of the movie and the music didn't you disgust me good well Mm -hmm. good glad we can have 
a grown up discussion. conversations. Yeah. I mean, I don't agree. Uh, Clearly. I will be honest and say I don't remember ever like watching a scene and being like, oh my god, the music is great in this. But yeah. I also never was like, well, I wish there was more. But that's also not something I think about, I feel like, as much as a lot of people oh, okay. do. I, like, do. I very much do not focus on music. I pay attention to the music. The music is important um, to me, but that's also just me. Eric, too, probably. The rap scene is great. Yeah. So it's, that works. Really funny. It's funny, too. Like it's, it's a very funny movie. It's um, perverse, I guess, is a good way to describe yeah. it. But it's really funny. I love that movie. Uh, that's easily my favorite movie of last year. Yeah. Well, I, I have the favorite as number one. Yeah, I like it better. I than think the it's favorite, a better actually. movie. Like I think the favorite is as close as you get to a perfect movie. Uh-huh. I think that movie is brilliant. Yeah, and I appreciate everything about that movie, and I love it to death. And it's better enough in quality where I can't justify putting "Sorry to Bother You" ahead of it. Yeah. So, but I think "Sorry to Bother You" is like easily the movie I'll watch the most sure. out of this series. Yeah. Like I've already seen it like three more times. Wow. I saw it twice in theaters and I've watched yeah, I it. I want to watch it again. I've watched I it saw twice. It just a couple of days. Yes. Yeah, I've watched, I watched it twice it. in theaters and at least twice at home. So good. So, uh, let's move on to our final segment. We talked about that for very long. Uh, so it's so good. Yeah. So, let's go jingle for M3 suggestions. Go now. We're going to make a suggestion for you today and you better watch it or else. Uh, any suggestions, Brad Bry? Not really. Okay. And a podcast. <laughs> my suggestion is my freaking M3 Buddies video. Yeah, watch it. It's actually really cute. That's my suggestion. I liked it a lot. Uh, I talked about... One of the trailers we didn't talk about today was the Yesterday trailer, which was also two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, but the Yesterday... The trailer for Yesterday is, I think, the best trailer I've seen in so long. Yeah. It's, I love that concept so much, and I talk it's about it a lot good. in my Buddies video. Also, it's our new segment, hopefully, so... Mm-hmm. It, you should watch it and get used to it right now. That trailer is crazy to me because it's three and a half minutes long. Yeah. But it really doesn't feel like it. No, it doesn't. Like, I, I will notice when a trailer is really long, but that one was a sped by. So, it's clearly an interesting concept. I'm going to suggest, I suggested this last week, but I'm going to reuse it, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Um... A while ago, I don't know how long, but uh, Rocket Jump released a video Yesterday. called... Hey, do you want to stop singing while I'm talking? <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> it's called uh, something along the lines of how Star Wars was saved in the editing room. Um, and it's another Star Wars behind the scenes thing, but it's the best way for me to understand how movies are done. Um and if you're interested in editing or just the movie making process in a whole, I'd suggest this one too, because uh, it's really interesting to see sort of how it all came together and sort of all of the snafus that could have made one of the largest pop culture movies, I would dare to say, um, from something that was slow and boring and garbage into what it is now. Um, and it took a lot of people, it took a lot of work, and it's really interesting to sort of see how it all came together. And it's just a well-made video. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead, check that out. And then that's it. So. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Thanks for listening. Uh, You can please like, comment, and also subscribe. And hit the little bell for notifications and stuff. So you can listen to us always. Except it's Thursdays, so you can just check on Thursdays. Guys. Yeah, it's true. Or sometimes Fridays if I'm in charge. Um, we would also like if you listen to us on all of the new platforms that we're on. You can go to anchor.fm slash m3movies to find us there and find all of our platforms that we're on and listen to us because we have ads running and that makes us money. So we can keep growing and yeah, maybe start should, doing new things. You guys should listen to this on YouTube and then go back and listen again on Apple Podcasts. Yes. And then go I really back didn't think this through. Time. I should have said that in the beginning and also never mind. We're good. And then go back a third time on Spotify. On like Spotify. Yeah. And then maybe if you're feeling frisky, you can go back a fourth time on like Google. What is this little Podcasts. like head twitch thing that you're doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I think it's just um, part of the character that I was creating in my head. Uh, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at M3Movies for <coughs> both. 
uh, is support our Patreon, patreon.com slash m3movies. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Subscribe, I guess. I don't know, watch our other videos. Uh, comment, blah, blah, blah. And then that's it, I think. Am I missing anything? Uh, if you are, it'll be in the description. Yeah, sure. Uh, so yeah, this has been M3 Movies. I'm Jack. Is this where I say I'm Brian? Yes. Always. Oh, hi, I'm Brian. Oh my, no, hi? <laughs> 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 Thank you for listening. We love you, stupid faces. Bye-bye.